I'm Penny Goff with Grits Midway Greenhouse, and I'm uh, one of the owners and one of the third generation family member. We are in the hydroponic greenhouse facility of Grits Midway Greenhouse, and this is one and a half acres of tomatoes only in this facility. So we, we have 15,000 plants in here, and every week we pick about a pound and a half per plant off. There's a couple reasons that you want to produce hydroponically. Number one, it, you can grow more tomatoes in less space. You use a lot less water for irrigation, so you're saving water. Plus, um, you can grow in more um, cooler seasons where outside you're, you're dependent upon the weather and frost. Um, this particular way is in coconut fiber. So this is a ground up coconut fibers and the roots can go in there and as the water comes on, they take the food that they want and the rest of it leaves the bag. We're growing what is called a beef steak tomato, which is basically a slicer tomato. We do them in red and we do them in yellow. The tomatoes come in about a foot tall and we clip them to a string that you'll see wrapped around them. Um, this, they, once a week, we bring a little clip in and clip the plants and they keep growing up taller and taller that way, it can reach an average about 68 degrees a day. Um, so it will get hotter in the afternoon, so we'll cool down a little bit in the evening. Yeah, we, we have, the roofs are covered with actually two layers of plastic, which we use two layers to provide insulation. There's also roof vents up there that when it, on a warm day, those open up to let cooler air in. And then also there's a, heat blanket up there that pulls across at night to keep um, the house warmer. Um, we do use beneficial insects. Um, because we're in an enclosed area, we have no way to pollinate. There's not wind and other bees and insects around. So we buy um, bumblebee hives, which um, come in and the bees work to do all the pollination in here. We use bumblebees instead of other types of bees because they're less aggressive. They stay here and work for um, their life cycle, which is about eight to 10 weeks. We buy the good bugs to eat the bad bugs so that we don't have to spray. Our bees don't like spray, number one, and we don't want to spray our fruits. So they come in on this little card. This is the larva of the, it's called Incarcia, and we bring them in and we hang them on a leaf and then they hatch out and go looking for the larva of the white fly. When they will lay their egg in the white fly larva, which is a pale whitish green color. So once, if you get an episode of white flies, you'll start noticing that instead of white dots on the bottom of the leaf, it'll be all those little black dots from these. 85% of our crop go to Kroger stores in West Virginia and then probably a good 15% go to schools in Putnam, Kanawha, Wayne, sometimes Cabell County. And then the rest are sold either just in our grocery store or in our retail store or some other small grocery stores. 